Hey, what's up everybody? It's Joe Simpson. I wanted to show you five tips and tricks today to get around on your Mac desktop to speed things up and it might help your life like it does mine on a day-to-day -day basis getting in and around programs. So without wasting any time, let's get right to it. I wanted to show you five tips and tricks to get you around on your desktop. All right, first and foremost, you might sit down at your computer and you might be looking for something. So you wanna to go to the search bar. Typically, you would take your cursor, you'd go all the way up here, you'd grab the hourglass, you'd click it and the search bar spotlight search would come up. You can also just hit command shift and it does the same thing. So I'll do that one more time. Clear that, command then shift. Pretty basic, right? Command shift. Or you could just do two fingers, command shift. You know, I don't know if you, you could do it at the same time. Yeah, it works if you hit them simultaneous, but command first and then shift and then you've got the spotlight search. That's the first one, pretty easy. The second thing you might wanna do is drill down into a folder. So instead of going all the way over to finder, clicking the finder and then going to file, a new finder window, right? You can also option command shift and it brings up a finder window just like that. So it's just a extra key from the first one, option command, then shift. Pretty simple. One more time, option command shift. That's pretty easy. So those two keyboard shortcuts right there can save you tons of time. And let's move on to the next one so let's say you have a few programs open and you can't see the programs. One thing you can do is you can push the command then tab button. And once you hit the tab for the first time, it'll pop up what they call the application switcher. So it's command tab, and then you can pick the app you wanna see like messages. And there we go, command tab, go over here to uh, let's say Spotify. Now I can see Spotify, command tab your way over to mail. Command tab your way back over to, uh, I don't know, messages. So command tab, pretty easy. Okay, the other thing you can do, kind of a different version of the same thing, if you're using a trackpad and you wanna see all the windows at one time, you can three finger or four finger swipe up. And if you do that, you can see all of your windows, then go to the one you wanna go to and switch. Three finger swipe, move to the window, three finger swipe, go to the window, three finger swipe, go to the window. I use that one a lot because it's just a natural gesture. Um, but you can also do the same thing with the app switcher, which would be <clears throat> command tab. And you can just hold down the key and it moves through all the way to the end. And you can, and the other thing with command tab, if you're moving between two programs, if you just hit command tab once, Command tab once, command tab once. It'll keep switching you between the same two. So that's helpful to know because if you're doing something where you're sharing data from one program to the other and you're like me and you don't have a good memory, you can go back and forth and, and make that happen. Okay, the last one is, let's say you have all these programs open. You can see here that I have three programs and I just want to close all my programs or I want to close the program I'm on. The quick way to get to something called force quit. You normally have to go up here and click the apple click force quit, and it brings up a list of all the applications that are open, and you can either select one or all of them and quit those. If your program is stuck, or if you have the spinning beach ball, and you're trying to get out of an application, it can be frustrating at times, you have to go up there and force quit. So there's a couple keystrokes to get there, or you could do the shortcut, it's command option escape. So it's command option escape, and that brings up the force quit window. You can quit the most immediate application you're in, force quit, and you see that goes away. And then you could command option escape again, and you could highlight all the programs. And then you could force quit and it will clear your entire screen. Just remember, command space is the search bar. Command option space is the finder window. Command tab is the application switcher. And then the three finger swipe up is also the application I guess revealer, so you could switch between your applications. And then last but not least, you can option command escape and force quit all of your programs. I hope this was helpful and you guys check back in when you get a chance. Thanks for liking and subscribing and I appreciate all of you. Have a great week. Good luck. See ya.